Hello, Gary Franchi here for Freedom.tv and RestoreTheRepublic.com. I have two urgent action alerts that require your immediate attention. The members of Restore the Republic raise these issues by phone and email. This first alert comes from RTR blogger Michael Von Assen. A rather scary piece of legislation has been introduced in the House of Representatives entitled the National Emergency Center's Establishment Act, numbered House Resolution 645. Many people in the freedom movement have whispered, shouted, talked, and warned others about the unaccounted for FEMA facilities being built around the country for several years now. Well, it seems like Congress is currently facing the issue of opening these facilities and to begin using them for their intended purposes. The bill will serve as the authorization to open and declare what these facilities can be used for and what they are preparing to do. The bill begins with the establishment of national emergency centers which will mandate that Homeland Security use no fewer than six existing military facilities in each of the existing FEMA regions to provide aid to individuals and families in the event of a declared emergency or natural disaster. These facilities will also be to train law enforcement entities as well as clergy and other entities that will prepare the average citizen for a major event. These facilities will be required to be equipped for long-term stays by citizens. Requirements for these camps are that they must be located in close proximity to a transportation corridor, they must be located in a state with a high level or threat of disaster related activities. They must be located near a major metropolitan center and they must be capable of meeting for an extended period of time the housing, health, transportation, education, public works, humanitarian and other transition needs of a large number of individuals affected by an emergency or major disaster. These facilities must be capable of being scaled up or down according to the need. It must be capable of housing existing permanent structures necessary to meet training and first responders coordination requirements during non-disaster periods. These camps must also consist of two state-of-the-art command and control centers, one in full ready mode and the other used daily for training. The bill designates an initial funding estimate at $360 billion for a period of two years. The bill specifically defines emergency and major disaster. It defines emergency as a means of any occasion or instance for which, and by the determination of the President, federal assistance is needed to supplement state and local efforts and capabilities to save lives, protect property, and public health and safety. Major disaster means any natural catastrophe or, regardless of cause, any fire, flood, or explosion in any part of the United States, which in by determination of the President causes damage of sufficient severity and magnitude to warrant major disaster assistance. Given recent language, of bills like H.R. 1955 introduced in 2007 and the Nefarious Patriot Act, everyone is now considered a terrorist threat and everyone is being monitored by the NSA supercomputers. H.R. 645 is well beyond the scope of federal constitutional power and could be used in the event of a false flag operation to round up American citizens suspected of involvement usurping the traditional constitutional means. You must act now to prevent this bill from becoming law. Please contact your representatives and instruct them to vote no on House Resolution 645. You can visit congress.org to find your congressman's information. Now the second alert comes from RTR member Eric Nordstrom from Nordstrom1.com and is related to our fight to keep our rights to bear arms. 
on the table now is ammunition accountability legislation. It's in 18 states, and it requires all ammunition to be encoded by the manufacturer in a database and including all ammunition sales. They will know, now know how much you buy and what calibers. Remember how Obama said he wasn't going to take your guns? Well, it seems that his allies in the anti-gun world have no problem with taking your ammunition. According to ammunitionaccountability.org, the driving force behind this legislation, nobody can sell any ammunition after June 30th, 2009, unless the ammunition is coded. Any privately held, uncoded ammunition must be destroyed by July 1st, 2011. This includes hand-loaded ammunition. They will also charge a five cent tax on every round, so a box of ammo you buy will now be at least $2.50 more. Now, if they can deprive you of ammo, they don't need to take your guns. As all eyes are diverted on talk radio topics, bailouts, television entertainment, and corporate news propaganda, state level legislators are placing the Second Amendment into the grave. This legislation is currently in committee in 18 states. Alabama, Arizona, California, Connecticut, Hawaii, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Maryland, Mississippi, Missouri, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Washington State. To find out more about this anti-gun group that is sponsoring the legislation, go to their website at ammunitionaccountability.org slash legislation.html. Thomas Jefferson said, The strongest reason for the people to retain the right to keep and bear arms is, as a last resort, to protect themselves against tyranny in government. Remember, being an American doesn't mean simply voting in every election. It means making sure our rights and liberties that make us Americans do not fade to black at the stroke of a legislator's pen and a lobbyist's checkbook. If we do not act upon our rights, they will be lost as we remain distracted by the bread and circuses of today. Contact your state representatives and legislators. Contact your congressmen. Tell them you're watching them and their votes. And if they don't listen to you, you'll be sure to take their seat come next election. On behalf of Freedom TV and RestoreTheRepublic.com, I'm Gary Franchi. Please forward this link to everybody that you know. And remember, stop watching America and start living America. Good night.